Hello, folks, and welcome to WeTV Online. Today, we are going to be talking about online film, and joining me to do just that, I have Derek O'Connor, who is program director of Dark Light Festival, and also Connor Steenson, who is an aspiring filmmaker and has just recently won a Be Kind Rewind Sweden competition. If you're wondering what exactly you're talking about, Liam, don't worry, all will be revealed. We'll get to you a little bit later, Connor, but I'm going to start with yourself, Derek. Hello. How are you? Good, how are Good, you? Good, not too bad, Mail Mucker. Now tell me of this Dark Light Festival. It sounds like a bunch of Sith overlords. Pretty much. Sure. Uh, that's it. It's a ritualistic rite, more as a festival. Okay. Um, art, music, technology. All the gotcha. good stuff. All the stuff you need to know. Future is now. You know, we all have the technology. We can all get it. We, we can, can make this. our own films. So you come to Dark Light and everything that's good to go. Do you remember years ago they said, you know, you'll be able to make films on your robot phone and put it online and so Yeah, we can do people that People are now. doing it. We have the technology. Okay. And at Dark Light we show them the technology. And what exactly will be taking place at this year's festival in June? What's on? A lot of different screenings, workshops, seminars, uh, for big kids programs. If you want to come in and learn how to do animation, stop motion animation, you want to make your own movies, you want to watch some cool cartoons, anything you want to do, the whole weekend, we're all go. One of the programs that's going to feature in this year's festival is the Asbo Bumblebee. Tell me of this Asbo Bumblebee. What uh, is it? We show a lot of short films. Okay. There was a time when short films were like little funny things you'd see here and there. Now with YouTube, short films are absolutely the mainstream of what's happening. So okay. there's people just taking cameras, making cool short films. Asbo Bumblebee was made by a teenager in Belfast called Christian Johnson. Just got a camera, got a few mates put a little musical together, it's a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. A feast arise upon it here is the anti-social behaving bee. We like it at WeTV. Boyest thing to be, a healthy grown-up busy busy bee. Visiting the picnic where the hippie sings, jumping on his hopes and stamping on his dreams. I'd like to be a busy busy bee, what? being just as busy as a bee can be. Flying around the gardens, just look at me, nicking his guitar and smash it on a tree. Buzz, 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 honey bee, honey bee, buzz if you like. But don't He's a nasty piece of work, that bee. Absolutely, I love his work. Excellent. Now, the full three and a half minutes can be viewed on the Darklight website. Yeah, we're going to be putting a selection of shorts of stuff showing in the festival. Okay. Basically, as we get close to the deadline, we'll be showing people's work. Because that's the thing. It's about getting all the work out there, and then it's online, so you can watch it in as many forms as possible. Derek, location, location, location. Where's it on? All over the shop. Dublin, uh, IFI, film base, Lighthouse. We also do stray light, visual art, all over Dublin. So okay. it's going to be, we're taking over the place for the weekend. Okay, now he's not just sitting there for the sake of being a melon. He is Connor Steenson. How are you doing, Connor? Are you all right? I'm not the lad, how are you? Winner of the Be Kind Rewind Sweden competition. What's that all about? Well, that was all about, well, it was basically a competition that was uh, linked into the film Be Kind Rewind, and basically you had to take an Irish film or an Irish teen film sure. and remake it yourself in your own way. Okay, in your own way, and this is the way. whole premise of Sweden. Yeah, that's the whole premise is that you take... Tell it, It's basically taking something, say a film that you like, that you really, really love, and remaking it in your own way and putting your own spin on it. Okay. And you basically, your own twist, your own spin was on once. Once, yeah, once. Okay. Now, when originally, when the competition came about, I just thought, tried to think of through my head, like different Irish films, like went through a whole bunch of them. And then I just remembered the film once, and there was a scene in it with, uh, where the two characters go into a music shop and sit down on a piano. And I just thought that would be way funnier if it was actually a keyboard instead of a piano, and they were just playing pre programmed beats on it. So I just got that idea and worked the rest of the film around that. Here is exactly is what we're talking about. This is the once trailer as Sweden by himself. Have a look. I'm gonna go for a right. Okay. So, anyway, do you want to make a record with me? Yeah, sure. You know I have a young daughter. Really? That's scary. And a husband. Trailer there as sweeted by Connor, and that is going to feature in the Dark Light Film Festival uh, this June. Better than the real thing. Even better <laughs> than the real thing, folks. Can you believe it? How long did it take to kind of come up with the, the concept, shoot it, edit it, well, <laughs> to have all your own facilities? Yeah, well, I mean, we I wrote it in the space of an evening, and then it was two days later. We actually did it in the morning. It was uh, about nine o'clock till about one or two in the afternoon. It was okay. before the Ireland against Scotland rugby game, so you had to get the finish. Had to get that quickly. in quick. Yeah, and then after that, just about two days, just one day to record music, and then another day just to edit it all together. And would you consider yourself now a filmmaker? I mean, is this is this a future? Would you be a well, in, in the future, career here? I mean, hopefully, you never know. I mean, I'm just going to keep plugging away and doing different things, and if something comes of it, great. And if not, then. 
I just kind of myself to sleep at night. And have you any other Swedes in the pipeline? Any other Swedes in the pipeline? Um, uh, th there's plenty. I mean, there's. I mean, uh, you could. It, it's a concept that you could take anywhere, really. I mean, you mm. could apply it to. You know, if a band wanted to Swede their own video, or if a company wanted to Swede one of their own commercials, it's something that you could apply to anything, basically. Something you apply to anything. And if you and your mates would like to do some tweeting, we would like to hear from you folks. We're looking for some one minute ideas of anything a celebrity you like, you loathe. It could be a show, it could be a movie, whatever it is. Send us in around September for this new Sweden TV. And if you're looking for more details, then I suggest you go to the TTV website. And uh, here is our We TV's interpretation. This is a little Swede we put together for you. And it's of a, a modern day classic that we call Wayne's World. Remember Wayne's World? No. Okay, it was kind of community-based uh, TV. They were in Aurora, and there was a lot of uh, swinging and all of that going on. Have a look at this, and I'll see you again on WeTV Online. Wayne's World, party time, excellent. Yeah. All right, okay, oh, far out. That was awesome. Swing, 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 swing. Excellent. She will be mine, Garth. Oh, oh yes. yes, she will be mine. Dude, that was like totally the best Swede ever. Not. Not. <laughs>